Welcome to Wires Quizzes for D2L Brightspace. This video is an introductory tutorial to creating questions in Wires Quizzes, an external LTI tool for D2L. You may be familiar with the first steps if you created questions in D2L before. Let's go over those now. After you log in, go to your course, then to Content, enter an existing module or create a new one. Click Existing Activities. Then select the external tool with the name your admin is given to the Wireless Quizzes remote plugin. Ours is named Wireless Quizzes Play. We don't have a quiz yet, so let's create a new one. Now let's add some questions to our new quiz. To add the first question, click the Add link and then plus a new question. The Wireless Quizzes extension adds six additional question types to the standard D2L question type. These are similar to the standard D2L question types, but with largely extended mathematical capability. We'll describe each question type briefly. Close. Embed multiple questions of different types inside a single question. Essay. Ask an open question where the student has space to leave a detailed answer. This is the only type you'll grade manually. Matching. Match a list of items to the correct items from a different list. Multiple choice. This is a standard multiple choice question. Short answer. You can ask a question with a small blank for an answer which is automatically graded. True false. Ask a question with a true or false answer. We'll now give a generic overview of what a wireless question type looks like. We'll use short answer type since it's one of the most representative. Select that question type, then click Add to begin. All question types have a few fields for data that is relevant to the question type, such as question text, question name, and so on. In this regard, the interface is identical to D2L question types, so we won't focus on that. Let's enter our question. In our question, as well as our answer, we'll be using variables with randomized values so each student sees a different version of the quiz. In order to let wireless quizzes know it's a variable, we need to precede it here with a pound sign. What Wireless Quizzes adds is a new dialog for handling mathematical behavior called Wireless Quizzes Studio. We can always access it by clicking this icon. Once we're in Quizzes Studio, the available options will depend on the type of question we're editing. We're using a short answer type in this example, which has the most features in Wireless Quizzes Studio out of all the question types. What we'll find here are settings for controlling various aspects of the question in a way that allows mathematical content to be handled flexibly. The different options are divided into four distinct tabs. As we mentioned before, different question types will vary here. For example, the true-false question has no validation tab since the only possible answers are true and false. Let's go over the tabs one by one. To start with, the correct answer tab has an integrated math type editor which allows typeset mathematical formulas to be used as a correct answer. This means students will have the same editing possibilities for their answer as well. Below the editor, we find additional options for the student's input method. The next tab is called Validation. Wireless Quizzes recognizes mathematical input from the student, and here we control the details of how to assess this input. We can ask for specific units, control what symbols are recognized as constants, as well as a wide range of format options. We'll leave ours set to general for this question. Below that is the Variables tab. Without this tab, Wireless Quizzes is already capable of a lot, but once we start using variables, we will truly explore all that Wireless Quizzes has to offer. In this interface, we can define variables to use in several parts of the question. 
The environment is a computer algebra system, which means variables can be numeric as well as symbolic. By using some of our random functions, we can make a variable take on a random value in a range we specify, then different students viewing the question would have different questions with different answers. This is a typical scenario for use of variables, but with a bit of creativity, there's a wide variety of possibilities. The last tab is called Preview, and the name is pretty self-explanatory. Here we can quickly simulate the evaluation of a student answer in order to test that all of our settings from the previous tabs are working as intended. Once you're done with Wires Quizzes Studio, press the OK button at the bottom left or press Cancel to exit without saving any changes. Be sure to assign a grade to the answer. Since this is our only answer, we'll assign 100%. When you're finished editing the entire question, just click Save Changes at the bottom and the question will be added into the question bank. We've added two more questions that we didn't show on the video, so now our complete quiz has three questions. Let's see how the quiz looks to the student. All the coefficients and constants will be different for each student because we programmed them to be randomized. We've also ticked the box for shuffled questions, so not only will no two students see the exact same questions, but no two students will see the questions in the same order. Let's finish our quiz. We've specified in one of the questions we want the students to show their work. They do that on the scratch pad, which they'd access by clicking the expander button, then the pencil icon. This will be passed along to the teacher as is. We can go back and retry any question if we want, as long as we haven't submitted our quiz yet. Let's submit the quiz for grading. Once we do, we can view our grade. You see, there's our work that we showed. We can also go into the grade book and see our cumulative grade, including this latest quiz. Chapter 4 quiz is 100%. Now back in faculty view, we can view the grade book for the class. We can see the details on any student if we want. We see one student hasn't taken the quiz yet. And Joe's student has made a grade of 10 out of 10. We can adjust that if we want. This has been a short overview of how to make a quiz with Wires Quizzes in D2L. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more tips and tutorials or visit our website at www.wires.com.